listen to me storms are very very important tests in the life of believers now i know that this may not be a very popular teaching but i am showing you how people move from where they are in fact if you are truly making progress you can validate your movement by the presence of storms if your advancement does not send a signal enough to call the attention of the gate of hell to say who is this making this progress many times our ease is proof that we are not making progress if you sit at home and you do not get in your car to go from one place to the other you have no business with traffic people experience traffic because they are moving the, while the traffic is on there are onlookers who are just watching they are not doing anything necessarily there arose a boisterous storm now please watch this there is a lesson to learn here i'm dealing with the issue of the storm that every storm is made up of two elements number one the wind and number two water are we together now yes the water is the obvious one that you can see but that that water is being powered by wind that you cannot see behind every physical problem look up please behind every physical challenge hear me there are spirits and spiritual forces that empower them behind situations and circumstances that seem to defy solutions there are spiritual forces that empower situations, empower men, empower conditions to be hostile against those who are making progress in this kingdom. So if your interpretation of challenges is just the individuals, the physical actors, you've gotten it wrong. Jesus knew that there was more than water. His concern was not even the water. When he was about to rebuke it, he said, peace be still he was not just speaking to the water he was speaking to the spirits that were manipulating the wind to make the water boisterous behind every challenge there are spirits that are behind it the same way behind every progress and exploit the holy ghost is also behind it people do not just make progress because they are well intentioned it takes an agency of the spirit to move people are we together now? This is very, very important. Paul, it was Apostle Paul who said, I desired once and again to come to you. I desire to move from this location to come and be a blessing to you. He said, but Satan hindered us. Satan is still in the business of attempting to hinder men. Hinder men from stepping into strategic relationships. Hinder men from stepping into strategic alliances. Opening them up to opportunities that can lift them. And here comes the manifestation of spirits. But in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare over someone tonight that every force that stands your way here at this conference, in the name of Jesus, may it be silenced forever. 